we've just about completed our E46 M3 project car. What we've done to the car is we've installed a complete super sprint exhaust system from headers all the way to the race rear muffler. We've installed the super sprint stepped headers, the metallic race caps, the race center resonator, and the race rear muffler. We've also installed an AFE cold air intake stage. This little too. unit is the shark injector by Jim Conforti. What it does is it holds the software, the modified software, that you're going to want to put into your new vehicle when you've done any kind of modifications or if you just want to upgrade and optimize the performance for unleaded Supreme Fuel. What we can do here is we have a choice of a variety of programs. If you've got modifications to the vehicles, exhaust systems, metallic cats, headers, AFE or any cold air intake systems, you can get custom software just for that. What's nice about the newest generation of the Conforti unit is it has a USB port so you can also do upgrades after you've done additional modifications to your vehicle. Let's say you do a base Conforti shark injector and you like the way the car performs. Some point in the future you want to put headers on the car or an exhaust system. Then you can purchase by internet you can purchase a new program upload it to the shark injector from your computer at home and then you'll be able to upload that to your vehicle from there now the way you're going to do this is the unit plugs into your obd2 port underneath the dash of your vehicle now there's a small trap door right here a small little trap door i'm going to release it and right there is where the unit's going to plug in it only plugs in one way, it's directional. There's a whole set of instructions with how to do it. It'll walk you through it step by step. So all you have to do is plug the unit in. You'll need to put a battery charger on your vehicle that'll maintain battery voltage. You don't ever want to lose your battery voltage because then the programming has been spoiled. So what you'll also want to do is before you go into a dealership, you may want to reverse the unit and go back to your factory programming, which is totally optional. It's totally up to you. If you want to go to the track and put the race program or the performance program in, you can do so and then remove it when you get to drive back on the street. This will be a nice little addition to any performance upgrade.